we've kicked in. We've kicked in. Let's check it out. Um, what are we doing? Oops, we're not doing that. We're doing this. Where are we? There we are. Nice. Cool. We're live on sensor two. We are live on Twitch. And uh, we should be kicking in live on Rumble uh, very, very shortly. And uh, I'll do my little intro uh, once we go live. Cool. Yeah, Twitch is up. Rumble is up. Not the Rumble. Uh, sensor tube is up. Hey, Rumble. Let's check it out. Let's see when Rumble's going to kick in. Let's see when Rumble's going to kick in. Oh, where did we go? Froze it. Nice panic salutations from Twitch. I like Chicho saying hi to me. <laughs> I panic. <laughs> Lark Mark, hey, hey, you all. And what's up, Chicho? We're back at the map. We're back at the map. And Rumble is up. Gang, salutations. Welcome to our live stream. Today, today is uh, November 5th. Uh, 2023 is a guy fox day something along those lines right dub xyz greetings chicho greetings dub xyz how about rush xyz that's a great song or yyz or yyz i can't remember it's yyz i think not xyz uh salutations gang uh we're back at the map um this is round nine part nine we started this a few months ago. So we're going to continue our little discussion. And um, before we get into the nitty gritty of it all, we'll wait until notifications go out and people start rolling in. Um, I think Twitch is usually the first uh, place where people start rolling in. Let me put up the chat for sensor to British, British sensor to chat is up, chat is up, chat is up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the X Y yeah Y Y Z by Rush is awesome. Good Canadian man, great Canadian man, great Canadian man. Oh, that's that's right. Guy Fox Day, Guy Fox Day, Panic. Yes, Guy Fox Day. Remember, remember the fifth of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plots. Oh, the guy got Fox burned down Parliament. <laughs> hilarious bang bros user sub chicho it's been a couple of weeks how's it going my friend going good thank you i've been very very crazy busy last week on the rumble we got jazuzet jazuzet salutations welcome to our live stream i was almost going to pronounce that jacuzzi salute salute elfida how are you doing hope you're doing well real xenomorph salutations welcome welcome to our live stream good evening good evening glad i catch the stream glad to have you glad to have you have you alfida lark bark remember remember the fifth of november gunpowder trees and plot i know no reason why gun the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot panic I want to burn a Guy Fox doll today, but I didn't order it. Oh, no. Oh, no. All the guys on Rumble. We got two mods on Rumble. <laughs> Confirmed. Plutonic Pluralist and Elder God. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I put up our little uh, command on uh, Twitch as well with a meow meow <laughs> to kitty cats. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add the emote to it. But i'll do that next time i think uh, da, 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 da. uh lonely piggy lonely piggy salutations how are you doing any snacks today chicho i do i do i got uh walnuts and apples i got walnuts and apples good com great combination not good combination great combination so good so good so good right i'm eating pretty healthy right now uh, you know no lemon meringue pies <laughs> Alvira doing fine. Nice, nice. Plutonic Polaris. Any uh, Jacobites here? J Jacobites. Jacobites. What are Jacobites? What a number. What a number. Alvira, cheers as I'm drinking a ginger tea. Nice. What are you sipping? I'm just drinking. Uh, this is a blend of two different 
uh, Persian teas. Um, Earl Grey and Orange Pico, I think. Uh, but they're, they're mixes. I take, I, I sometimes I buy three different brands of Persian black tea and I mix them together, shake it up and give it an aroma. Uh, it's nice and it, it works well. Real Xenomorph, I'm glad to, uh, I'm glad that V is still firmly in, in, in our memory indeed. I think it should never be forgot, right? Never. Yum, yum. Walnuts and apples. Delicious. Delicious. Nicholas, salutations. How are you doing? What's up, Chicho? What's up, chat? Lonely Piggy. Meanwhile, I just ordered Korean fried chicken for dinner. Nice. I like Korean fried chicken. I like Korean fried chicken. Sensor tube. We got action in the chat over here as well. Nice. Living Saint UK. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not Elder God, is it? Are you Living Saint UK? You're not Elder God UK. Old username, old username. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, dub XY. Oh, interesting. I might need to try that. Korean fried chicken is super delicious. Super delicious. Elder God, I gotta make uh, Living Saint UK. <laughs> don't censor to them. Nice, nice. Uh, long live. Uh, long live the Stuarts, Platonic Blur says. Gang, I'm gonna do my quick little intro. Uh, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. We have a Gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us there. We are live streaming on Twitch, on Rumble, and on SensorTube. I'm not sure how long we can keep the stream going on SensorTube. It really depends which direction we're gonna go. Um, but I'll try to get certain things out bef if sooner rather than later in the stream uh just in case we have to cut out a sensor too because i think it's important to have this little bit of information regarding this area right here okay if you do lose um if we do have to go to the other uh, live streams rumble and twitch free speech platforms to a certain degree on twitch most definitely on rumble uh sensor to the links are there if you need to follow us or want to follow us right shield and sword <laughs> sword of the uh, party of free speech nice plutonic plur says on rumble uh sword is uh, the little emote we have on twitch for mods and a shield on rumble which is pretty cool actually um gang da, 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 da. we do have a soundcloud page where we upload some of the live streams as podcasts and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform we're on twitter we're on minds we're on getter we're on gap we're on vk we're on substack notes you can definitely follow us all over the place for those of you that are supporting this work including the people that are supporting us on patreon on substack on sensor to this membership on twitch most definitely and the mods gang thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying the content i think we've created some amazing stuff um and much more to come salute gang Salute, salute, salute. Let me take these guys down. Oh, let me lock this guy up. Let's take these guys down. And okay. Oh, I gotta bring in the sensor to chat up. Sensor to chat up. NTWN, sup gang, salutations, NT. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to our live stream. Let me give you a quick account number um, just right off the bat. We usually end up getting more people coming in. So nine minutes into the stream, we've got 19 people on Rumble. We've got 27, 28 kicking up one at a time on Twitch. And we've got seven people on SensorTube, okay? Full stream here, possibly, possibly, possibly. Okay, there's definitely um, this area. I've loaded up some maps that are going to pop up here, uh, pop up here, <laughs> uh, that I definitely want to be on sensor tube. So if anything comes up before we get to it that we need to cut off from sensor tube, I'll we'll take a hard stop, not hard stop, but a hard change. Talk about those maps and then kill on sensor tube and go to Rumble and uh, Twitch for full. Okay, uh, Living Sick UK on. Um, sensor to uh, no need just a free premium membership account for a month oh okay cool cool 
And then you create a free premium account on Sunster too. Just for the hell of it. Funny, awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, hold on. My chat got away from me on the sensor too. Let me put it here. Uh, okay. And I need to have enough space. I don't want to cover that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Where are you? Okay, we'll leave it there for now until I bring up the maps. Uh, oh, there we go. We can do it this way. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, uh, Nicholas, 19 on Rumble, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rumble's slowly kicking up, and it's going to continue to kick up. Um, I believe it should, right? It should. J Powell, how are you doing on Twitch? Hello, Chicho, and all. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, gang. Happy Sunday. Uh, Nicholas, yeah, uh, yeah. Twitch is getting worse with censoring. Are they? They haven't affected us yet. If they do, we got Rumble. Hopefully, we we'll kick in. Um, uh, Bitchute once they start uh, live streaming and we might kick in Odyssey or one of the other ones. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where it all goes, right? Da -da 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 -da. Panic. Everything is getting worse with censoring. They're going to keep on trying to, until people stand up and go, you, right? F you. Free speech, right? Free speech. Right? Uh, Plutonic players, we could maybe have special region maps to focus on respect of certain regions. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. For now, for this stream, the only maps I've loaded up are the ones that are centered here. Okay, that I think is important to point out. A couple of couple of facts. There is a lot more, um, and this is going to expand, right? This is this conflict war, global war that we're in war of nations versus nations centralized power versus decentralizations multipolar world governments versus their citizens it's a global war it encompasses everything censorship food free speech uh trade uh roots resources everything this is the only true world war that i know of. world war one wasn't this world war two wasn't this this is huge right and it as far as I see it, it's just going to keep on expanding, keep on expanding. Right? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, Real Xenomorph. Rumble is quite nice. It is indeed. Panic. Uh, that map looks worse every time. Shit is going to uh, gonna hit the fan hard real soon. Well, in some parts of the world, the shit has already hit the fan big time. Right? And this is the reason we started it. We figured that we were going into a global war and... Uh, we were preparing, right? We were preparing. Uh, Plutonic players stream one hour longer as there was the PD PST shift yesterday, today. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Endless rage on sensor tube. Greetings, sir. Many blessings to you and all. To you as well. Endless rage. Thank you very much for popping into our live stream. Thank you very much for popping into our live stream. First time chat on Twitch. We the people, hashtag we the people need to stand together now more than ever. Indeed. What's that chat? Uh, rallies up in too many times. Uh, people united will never be defeated. That's one th chant I really liked on the peace rallies I've been to for, I think, oh, a long time, a couple of decades ago, right? More than that. Uh, people united will never be defeated. 100%. I wish people understood that, right? I wish people understood that. Mr. Trash Talk, thank you. Uh, Alfida, you might find interesting, Chicho. There is one political party here in the Netherlands, right liberal conservative -ish. Uh, quite popular, but one of their promises is giving Julian Assange political asylum. I'll vote for them, right? I'll vote for them. And on that note, gang, do not forget, do not forget, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange, Julian Assange, publisher, journalist, that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity, something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, where countless resources available online. Right? Weights, worlds. A pro footballer, football player, had his contract terminated because he posted on Instagram 
asking for a ceasefire in Gaza. Are you serious? Good on him for doing it. Fuck that team for uh, terminating him. If I was, if I was in that city, that was a fan of that team, I'd go outside the stadium and burn that jersey, right? Bur demand the board resign, right? So someone they 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 dismiss someone, terminate someone for asking for peace. Wrap your head around that shit, right? Nicholas Chicho, Twitch has been banning some pretty big Twitch streamers for very minor reasons. Oh wow! Elon Musk was on Joe Rogan again recently, and Rogan asked just how bad was Twitter uh, uh, before the takeover. Musk said, "What we all already knew that Twitter was just an extension of the government arm." Uh, but he did say it was worse than we can know many musk musk fired many musk fired have gone to companies like to have they oh crap no well, it is what it is you know if need be we'll get off twitch man or we'll do exactly what we're doing on sensor uh stream for a bit and cut it and go to rumble and other free speech platforms right and we knew how bad twitter was we knew i i years ago years ago with the colbert report james corbett right i really like james corbett right and he does um uh, what's a new world today or something like this uh with james evan palato right so james corbett and james evan palato have been doing um new world whatever it is i haven't watched it for a while because um i love james corbett i won't talk shit about someone else right um and years ago when they were posting links in their show notes uh james evan palato was constantly posting to twitter right constantly posting the links to twitter and then you would have to go to twitter to find a link to the article that they were talking about right and if you didn't have an account on twitter or you didn't you didn't want to go to twitter you were forced to go to twitter sending them traffic to be able to go to the link to the article that they were talking about so i sent james on plato message saying hey brother listen love your work but could you please not send us to twitter twitter is a piece of shit platform that censors everybody right it's controlled you can't it's not free speech so don't force me to go to twitter right please just post the link straight up to the article and he said well that's where we found it and stuff like this i said i replied i said listen man i i know why you're doing it because you want your twitter traffic to go up so people subscribe to you on twitter so your numbers go up you get more exposure sure i appreciate that but it's a piece of shit platform don't force me to go there and he maybe i was a little rough i don't know he got a little mouthy too i said "Fuck this noise man right i stopped watching it and and then when Musk started taking over, censorship really hit in. I went back to Twitter, right? Uh, so any platform, as far as I'm concerned, any platform that censors up the yin yang, right? Creators shouldn't really be forcing people to go to those platforms. What creators need to do is when when platforms start censoring, provide alternative to free speech platforms to move track or traffic away from those platforms exactly the way we're doing on sensor tube right if a topic comes up where we can't talk about it on a sensor tube we're going to kill the fucking stream on sensor tube right if twitch does the same thing we're going to kill the fucking stream on twitch right i don't care right that's the way people need to understand this global war that we're in it's not nations against nations it's not religion against religion it's not centralized power people in brussels china papers please everywhere in the western world and stuff it's also governments versus their own citizens it's also technoclass controlling information controlling money controlling flow of funds controlling everything privacy gone anonymity gone treated as such this war is on multiple fronts that's what it is okay i'm going a little hard on this but very important to make it known because censorship is gonna kick in hard again be ready be prepared make plans right and that's the way i'm approaching it okay i'm gonna scroll down gang uh 
Say it loud, say it clear. Julian Assange is welcome here. Netherlands, 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 Elagot says. Woo. Sal is the man. <laughs> Lime Ninja on Rumble. Sal is here. They're both sleeping there. And we got our little commands back on. Little commands on. Um, what do you call it? On Twitch. So if you see, you hear Sal meow or via meow, you can go exclamation mark Sal or exclamation mark via on Twitch and it'll start doing a count. They're on count one right now because I had to do a test to make sure it worked. Color, oh, color key. Thank you very much, Elder God. Here's our color key. Where's my legend? Mm, where's my legend? Map legend. Boink. There's a map legend. Thank you, Elder God. I totally forgot about it. Uh, good thing I'm checking the chat. Uh, good thing I'm checking the chat. Okay, I gotta get caught up with uh, with the live streams, uh, with the chat. Da, 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 da. Conscience, uh, conch. 2357 on Rumble. I was banned on Twitch for posting Himalayan magic farm for fart for. <laughs> Hilarious. They banned you for that shit? Why, man? Like, it's just farting. It's okay. Uh, boycott. Thank you. My pleasure, boycott. My pleasure, boycott. Uh, you clip this ninja on Rumble. About to go to the store myself uh, in a little and pick up some more canned goods for the stockpile. Yeah, it's a good idea to prepare on multiple fronts, right? Uh, Nicholas Chicho, keep here until it gets as bad as sensor tube, but all signs point to it going the same way. We need more companies like Rumble who refuse to bend the knee. They will make more money in the long run as people will flock there for privacy. Yeah, indeed. And I got a feeling because of the economy, because these platforms, it's really just about money for them to a certain degree, right? They are being controlled, they were making mint before. Now, if they start seeing a floodgate of people leaving their platforms, they might not censor as much. And people like Elon Musk or whatever, right? They might smell the money. They might go, oh, look at this. Opportunity, a plenty to fill a void, right? I would, I would. Plutonic Plurus, I was banned from Twitter because I was reported by one or some uh, users as I as I used to use an avatar of banned user Pff, crazy Sal Elder God tries it out I knew you would I swear I should have written on a piece of paper and as soon as you did that I would have shown you Sal Elder God is going to try Sal first Sal has been caught meowing two times Elder God says yes we thought it was back in 2011 or so never went back to twitter yeah i'm on it right now just because get the information out until the world economic forum clown censors the crap out of it right love the channel you clip this ninja thank you very much thank you very much salute salute uh gang uh smart cities uh, yeah mr trash talk indeed and DCB um, central back digital currencies I think you're trying to go with are, are going to take any any freedom we have left they tried rolling out in Nigeria do, 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 do. they try rolling out CBDs in Nigeria right people rioted only 5% took it up right they have to pull it back we'll see if people in the Western world have got balls like the people in Nigeria to stand up for freedom we'll see we'll see we'll see right so far Mm, I don't know. Right in the moose brain. Salutations. Hope you're doing well. Sub Chicho and chat. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Indeed. Put on a go farthest from the mountains. <laughs> Panic. Uh, Chicho, to be honest, this stream, uh, stream talking about how bad things are uh, going to be is a constant reinforcement for who I want to be working 24 7 to become a man that is able to protect everyone I love and care about indeed indeed and that's really the way I the, the reason I started trying to figure out what the hell was going on in the world a few years ago right metamancer salutations actual federal government in Brazil support Hamas and 
a dictatorship countries like Honduras. Um, are you sure they're supporting Hamas? Maybe they're supporting Palestinians. And right now, th there's confusion with words right now, right? Those who support Palestinians, Western corporate media is confusing them with supporting Hamas. And those who are Zionist, people are confusing with those who are Jewish, right? So really distinguish between how words are used to control people and uh, program brainwash people, right? Zionism is not the same as Judaism. Zionism is a political philosophy. Judaism is a religion, a uh, uh, right? So they don't mean the same thing. You can have Christian Zionists, and we have a shitload of Christian Zionists here, right? Biden even said you don't have to be Jewish to be Zionist, right? Because he said he was a Zionist, right? And everybody in Palestine, all Palestinians, are not members of Hamas. Very small percentage are members of Hamas. In Gaza, in Gaza, there are 2.2 million Palestinians, right? 2.2 million Palestinians live in Gaza. The total number of people that are part of Hamas is like 30,000. Really, official numbers say 30, let's say 50. Let's kick it up to 50,000 people, right? Do a percentage here, let's do, we do. I'm gonna do the math right so 50,000 divided by two oops two point oops boop boop two zero 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 two point two million we're talking two point three percent of the population of Gaza are Hamas and right now Western corporate media wants to convince people that anyone that is supporting Palestinians is also a member of Hamas, which is total effing bullshit, right? So they're playing with words, programming people, and low IQ people fall for that shit, right? We see, we see. Da, 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 da. Hamas has multiple branches. There's the military branch and there's the humanitarian branch. They provide healthcare, right? they provide health care right not Palestine this but, but, but I am not a kid oh, oh an old man I learned a lot Theo theology philosophy religion Kabbalah masonry I have a lot of contacts so I can confirm it okay <laughs> okay most oh hold on I gotta bring back uh, the sensor tube chat there we go uh, da, 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 da. most densely populated area one of the most densely populated uh, parts of the world yeah um, da, 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 da. Jakarta was it Jakarta was the most densely populated but definitely one of the most densely populated places in the world open-air prison some call it rightfully some people call it a concentration camp because uh, Scott Ritter mentioned this, right? Scott Ritter mentioned that he used to call Gaza an open air prison, and a Palestinian corrected him, right? A Palestinian stated, told Scott Ritter that a prison is where you put criminals, right? But Palestinians, Gaza, it's not, they're not criminals, right? They're Palestinians. So you can't, we can't call Gaza an open air prison because it's not a place to hold people who have committed crimes. They have not committed any crimes, right? So the only real definition of Gaza needs to be a concentration camp, right? Because it's concentrating people in a small zone and they're slowly being exterminated, right? Uh, Plutonicus, the Lula regime is domestically horrible with a censorship and in, in intimidation politics. 100% I agree with you, Plutonic players. And in foreign policy, they seem to try to play on both sides, the U.S. West and the BRICS and Russia, China. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, on Rumble, uh, 
you clip this ninja do you think Israel goes to the nuclear option if Iran and Turkey enter the war turning the tables on them uh, I don't think Iran and Turkey need to enter the war for the tables to be turned on Israel and yes I believe at some point Israel will use nukes I just put out a video on it um, and we talked about it in previous map streams as well uh, that my guess is, is Israel's gonna use nukes uh, because they are in deep shit deep shit boycott 73 on rumble never judge anyone by their government gaza is a concentration camp 100 agree 100 agree 100 agree endless rage free assange and snowden protect our whistleblowers 100 on sensor to agreed 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 first time chat wacko ox true salutations true welcome to our live stream Khalid potato what about the Hamas terrorism Hamas terrorism horrendous bad remember who gave birth to Hamas it was the Israeli government headed with Netanyahu that created Hamas they created Hamas to divide and conquer the Palestinians right so Hamas just like Al Qaeda right just like Al Qaeda in Afghanistan was started by the West, by Israel, by the United States, right? That shit blew up in our faces, right? Maybe the Western world should decide to have a little bit of diplomacy, compromise a little, instead of trying to be bullies and dividing and conquer and funding extremist groups, right? because those extremist groups they're extremists and at some point they will bite back right yeah murdering innocent people is wrong anyone that says it's right is an idiot right you should never uh, believe in that western terminology that collateral murder collateral damage is okay it's not okay it's not okay plutonic force it may be a concentration camp in a british sense not a nazi sense not a nazi sense um by by definition it would be considered a concentration camp in a british sense not a nazi sense so nazis worse than um uh, israelis nazis worse than israelis yeah yeah uh because the concentration camps that they were managing the nazis were much smaller so they could be way more forceful uh with who was concentrated in those areas because no one in those concentration camps was really uh fighting back militarily against their oppressors right there was no uprisings that i know of not to the level that the that the palestinians are resisting their extermination um so yeah yeah not in a nazi sense yeah maybe the official numbers for world war ii is six million jews were exterminated israel is trying to exterminate two million 2.2 million palestinians um we're into the millions that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot right when we're talking millions well i would say uh yeah not. we're into the millions that's pretty serious all right oh my god the palestinians parades are trying to hijack remembrance sunday i'm off to london next weekend to complain Oof. iced what was the area of israel before they were placed there after world war ii also hi chicho long time no see long time no see ice it was called palestine where israel is now it was called palestine the people living there were called palestinians right and the british went boop, 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 with the help of the rothschilds crazy elfida let's say israel gets away with this and all palestinians are wiped out how will the future look uh as the world is watching this genocide live no one will free, forget brother israel will be most hated I israel's lost this already they're in deep shit, 
right? Crack on sensor tube, how are you doing? Um, so Israel's already in trouble here, right? And how Elfida is asking, how will the world be if Israel is allowed to exterminate the Palestinians from that region? And it's not going to stop there because the people that are wanting to get rid of uh, the Palestinians in Gaza commit genocide, finalize the genocide in Gaza, uh, have the greater Levant in mind, right? The greater Israel in mind. Let me show you just two of the reasons why Israel wants to get rid of the Palestinians in Gaza. All oh, cause religion and greed. Uh, for, uh, on Twitch, first time chat, Ross Proc 4 says, this was all caused by religion and greed. Um, greed possibly, but I'm gonna show you something right now. Gang, let me show you this. Let me show you this since we're on the topic. Apologies if I'm not going down. Do you agree with these uh, conflicts deal with religion and greed? Uh, l let me show you this, uh, Ross Proc on uh, Twitch. I've loaded up a couple of maps, okay? And uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. conscious coach. This is why I support the BDS movement 100%. One of the things that's going to happen, I believe, is BDS is going to go into hyperdrive. I support BDS. No, no ifs or buts about it. Remember, BDS movement, boycott, diversion, sanctions movement against Israel for what they've been doing to Palestinians for decades, right, was a peaceful movement, right? So for decades, years, decades, the Western world was saying Palestinians are not allowed to use force, violence to resist their oppression, right? So the Palestinians came up with a movement called BDS, Boycott Divestment Sanctions Movement, right? Which basically said, hey, don't buy any products that are from, not, not even just from, not, not even Israel, right? If you broke it down, it was really don't buy any products that were that are from stolen Palestinian land, occupied territory, right? Don't buy any products from any company that has set up factories in those regions that create products in those regions on occupied land that sell those products, right? Or anyone that's doing finances, tech companies, or anything like this, right? The Western world came out and said that's violence. What the f? So you as a consumer deciding that you don't want to buy from a company because it goes against your ethics right because you believe that occupied territories uh, should be returned to the people that if we consider the united nations right the united nations has stated this occupied territory the land needs to be given back to the people that originally occupied it right to the palestinians in this case right if you decide that eth ethically you cannot buy morally from an occupying force western governments canada united states europe came out and said that they consider that to be violence and they banned it they banned people and companies from boycotting joining the bds movement right wrap your head around that and then when there's violence people say well you can't do violence violence bad terrorism but wait a second palestinians were trying to do this through peaceful means right and you banned them you said that was violence so anything that opposes anything that israel does is considered to be violence even if you maybe just disagree with them crazy crazy uh cancel credit card it helps a lot israel can also wrap up uh boy god gang let me show you guys this because uh, it's important to lay down a foundation on this for a second let me turn this guy down a little bit okay check this out yeah israel and palestine there's a lot going on here we talked about the gas fields from Iran, the pipelines, the deals that people were trying to make from Saudi Arabia, Syria to Israel to feed Europe with energy. Syria said, no, I'm going to go with 
Iran, Iraq to Syria pipeline going through Turkey to buy pipeline to feed Europe. One of the reasons why the war in Syria kicked into high gear, right? Parse gas field, right? We had the gas field coming up or energy going through Niger, right? We put the pipelines on last going through this way to feed Europe with energy since Europe has totally cut itself off from the most resource rich country in the world, right? Now check this out. Talking about these resources, these pipelines we've been talking about, I thought it was important to take a look at, zoom into this area and talk about the following two things, right? So let me bring up this map. Where if I'll, uh, Douglas McGregor, yeah, 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 for sure. Mr. Uh, Carmen, uh, Carmine, man. Douglas McGregor and John uh, uh, Mearsheimer. Yeah, I've watched both of them. i watched Douglas McGregor a lot more. Snacks, Bruno, I got apples and walnuts. I got apples and walnuts on sensor two. Right. Since I'm talking really fast right now, I can't eat those. Okay. Check the sound gang. I'm gonna show you a couple of um, things. Okay. Yummy, Randall says. Off the coast of Palestine, Israel, Gaza, there's something called the Levant Basin. Check that out, right? So what you're seeing right now, this map here is here, right? Boop, right there, right? We got Israel, we got apologies about the stickers we have on here because <laughs> we've talked about these before, but you should know this map by now, right? So that's the basin right there. And you see the gray shaded areas there, right? That's gas fields there, Leviathan gas fields right and other gas fields and these are sort of huge energy deposits that israel is saying is ours well if you go by international law right because countries have a certain uh, distance they can go off their coast so if there's any resources off that coast that belongs to the country that's off its coast right but those gas fields huge chunk of those are really belong really belong to the palestinians because they're off the coast of gaza right that's one of the reasons that israel is trying to cleanse the region of palestinians to exterminate them so there's no dispute of who these uh these gas fields belong to right there's also dispute between Israel and Lebanon because there's energy resources available there too. And Israel saying, mine. So mine, 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 everything mine. Mine, 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 right? So Israel saying, Gaza mine. Energy off the coast of Gaza mine. Energy off the coast of Lebanon mine. Southern Lebanon mine. Golan Heights mine. West Bank mine. Greater Israel, mine. Okay, keep this in mind. There's energy sources that we're talking about here. Extremely important. And supposedly the energy, it will make Israel energy independent. And supposedly there's enough resources there to supply Israel with energy, all its needs for next 50 to 100 years, and enough to sell to Europe to get a lot of money right so keep that in mind now hi uh eric the uh, uh, eclectic first time chat on twitch hi how is egypt involved in the uh, basin watch this good timing uh on since on uh, twitch check this out uh oop, where are we now that's one of the things energy off the coast of israel and palestine that this is involved with i'm going to take these guys down doink doink now there's another thing that's going on here you see this the red sea right we've got the suez canal going up here right one of the oh i should have brought up the map of traffic right naval ocean container traffic going through the suez canal i believe i believe third of the traffic maybe 20 percent. i can't remember the numbers now right 20 percent 33 percent 15 percent doesn't matter 
really huge chunk of the traffic from Asia goes through the Red Sea, goes through the Suez Canal to go into Europe and here and other parts of the world, right? If the Suez Canal was not there, if Israel, uh, if Egypt, and Egypt controls that, by the way, if Egypt closed that off, then the ships from Asia would have to go all the way around here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Just imagine the inflation that's going to hit here. Just imagine the shortages, how long it will take for these products to go there, right? So there's only one canal here that goes through here. That's the same equivalent as the Panama Canal here, right? So Panama Canal, there's only canal, there's only one canal that takes ships from here to this side, right? That's huge as well, right? If you played Axis and Allies, you'll know that this canal is extremely important because if ships can't travel through here, then they have to go all the way around, right? That's why China is has plans to build a canal which is parallel to a certain degree i believe in nicaragua and i believe they've already started construction on it to provide another canal for ships to go through other than just the panama canal right so they want two lanes the panama canal is controlled by the united states remember in 1999 panama canal was supposed to be handed over to the panamanian people right but the invasion of Panama occurred there under George Bush Sr. I believe it was George Bush Sr. They went after Noriega, right? Noriega, bad. Sends drugs to the United States, bad, right? Meanwhile, they don't tell you Noriega was a total CIA plant, CIA puppet, just like Saddam Hussein was, right? So United States invaded Panama to make sure that they would never lose control of the Panama Canal, right? That was extremely important, right? So the war in Panama, the invasion of Panama, the United States, and it was big deal back then, right? People were like, we're United States, we won. Right? <laughs> you can't, you, you, you won't believe the, the, if you knew what the hell was going on, and I was much younger back then, right, in late 90s, but I, early 90s, and, but late 80s, early 90s, but I knew my geopolitics, not as well as I do now, but I knew what was going on back then, right? And you watch people, CNN, TV, everything, showing this, right? The United States goes in there and they win the war against the Panamanian people. And they massacred some people there, right? You didn't really hear too much about it, okay? And they got complete control of the Panama Canal. So the United States controls the Panama Canal and an incredibly important sea route that connects this part to this part. China is building another canal this way. So they don't have to use the Panama Canal if the shit is the fan between China and the United States when they go to war. That way they'll control that canal, right? Monroe Doctrine sort of comes into play here. Uh, is it Monroe Doctrine, the one that says the United States stated that no other country should have influence over Latin America because it's their backyard, right? Now, same thing plays out here in the Red Sea. Suez Canal, Egypt controls it. Egypt, it's the second, or used to be, right before the whole Ukraine insanity, it used to be the country that got the second highest uh, aid, military specifically, from the United States, right? Because Suez Canal, extremely important, right? They had the uh, um, Muslim Brotherhood took over, they went a little fanatic because they were fanatic. And uh, they realized that the, they would lose control over the Suez Canal. So military coup, Egypt stabilized for the world to a certain degree, right? But Egypt still controls it. Well, the United States and Israel have been planning to build another parallel canal going through here called the Ben Gurion Canal, right? Let me show it to you. See that? So you see the Red Sea, the Suez Canal marked off here, and right beside it going off this way is the Ben Gurion Canal. And Ben Gurion was, I believe, the first leader of Israel after it was established, or one of the first, right? And see the way the canal is supposed to be built, a little twist there and stuff like this. Let me do a little close-up of this. Uh, boop. 
Oh, that's the map view of it, right? So that's what we're talking about. You see the line up top there? You can see the Suez Canal. And they want to build a canal going through this arm of the Red Sea, going up, coming out through Israel, coming out through Israel, but really Gaza, right? Because if you look at another, I'm going to overlay a color map on this. I'm going to take these guys down. So keep these images in mind, right? I like the satellite image because it makes it more real. It's not cartoonish, right? People live there, right? People live there, right? Check this out. Thank you very much for the love gang uh, in the comments, in the chat. Apologies if I'm not reading it. I just need to get this shown, right? So here's the map, satellite color map. I chose the color one because it's prettier, right? See the blue line there? That's the canal that they want to build that parallels the Suez Canal. So ships can go through here. And if something happens, there's turmoil in the world, right? The world goes multipolar, bipolar or multipolar. Then Egypt cannot deny entry of certain types certain ships from certain countries and there is treaties involved that egypt is supposed to be neutral and it cannot cannot deny the entry the transport of uh, of this corridor for any ship from any country no matter if they're in conflict with them or not right because if that was the case then the ship would have already hit the fan but things are getting hot between the united states and china and russia and other players and they need another route going through right they need to be able to the west needs to be able to control one and one of the reasons israel and the united states with the united states i mean just imagine how many fucking ships they've planted here 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 right to make sure israel can commit genocide on the concentration camp why does the United States need so much military power for that? I mean, are they're afraid that Lebanon, Hezbollah might get involved here, right? But that much power for Hezbollah? Hmm. I think it has to do more with other players getting involved. Thank you, uh, Jazzut on Rumble for um the rumble chats five dollar donation Woo! uh chicho you said a long time ago that economics trumps politics couldn't agree more looks like this is a war for energy thanks again this lesson these lessons are crucial critical uh thought too yeah e extremely important remember gang as general smithley butler said all wars are bankers wars they're a racket right and add to that, all wars are resource wars, in essence, right? They're resource wars. And this is about resources. This is about controlling resources. This is about controlling the flow of resources, right? So this is one of the reasons that they need Israel and the United States and the Western world want to ethnically cleanse the region, Gaza of Palestinians, because Israel wants to move in and say, mine right okay now if you don't understand how serious this is right how serious this is some people are actually defending israel's demands that 2.2 2 million people be pushed out of their land to go live in tents in the desert because 2.3% of the people that live there decided to take up arms against their oppressors, against their the people that are horrendous, right? Killing innocent people, not good, but wow, right? Ethnically cleansing a region of 2.2 million people is genocide. No matter how you sugarcoat it, it's genocide. Okay. 
I just needed to show these maps and make sure at least these two pieces of puzzle were in place in this region as well. In addition to everything else we've talked about in the previous eight math mapping global con conflict map streams that we've done eight times minimum two to three hours we're doing them right so we've already talked about all this stuff for the last 16 20 22 hours this is more information okay this is more information True. important i'm going to try to get caught up with the chat gang apologies i missed a whole bunch of stuff i just needed to get that done romulus howdy hope you're doing well keith uh brinson on sensor tube salutations suez canal 2.0 indeed indeed will it happen who knows we see we see jester on sensor tube i used to neglect my history classes as a teen because i was the class clown but this is super interesting though if you were my history teacher i would 100 percent fall asleep because of your soothing voice <laughs> but i would show really cool maps right spencer of course it'd be called that math out loud yeah been going snack break snack break apples and walnuts i agree snack break snack break apples and walnuts they go really good together I'm going on Twitch gang. If there's anything directed towards me or any chat, just say Chicho and I'll and I'll catch it. Mr. Carmen Man. Hi, do you truly believe Israel will use a nuclear weapon during this conflict? And if so, how do you see things afterward in that region and the world? Well, I think we're in a point right now where we're going into a multipolar world i would call it three tripolar really there's going to be the western world which is europe canada canada united states australia new zealand and stuff like this there's going to be the what should we call it the euro asian block okay eastern european russia china everyone that signs up with the russia china uh russia china iran north korea uh, huge chunk of african nations right and middle eastern nations okay and then there's going to be the block that uh, wants to be neutral wants to play both games right wants to be okay with both sides and that includes india okay that includes saudi arabia possibly okay that includes egypt right that includes brazil right even though brazil is part of BRICS, they're playing both sides right so in large part i see a three world splitting into three different parts i'm not sure how long people will be allowed to stay neutral i really don't know okay but if israel uses nukes fucking hold on because that that will be basically israel committing suicide because if israel uses nukes in my humble opinion people are going to go you know to the un and condemn it and all this jazz and all that it's going to play out maybe diplomatically for a very short period of time like a few days if it is not resolved if israel is not held accountable for doing something like that you're gonna see fucking tens of thousands of missiles just going annihilating israel right like hezbollah has hundred thousand plus missiles right syria has missiles iran has missiles egypt has missiles okay remember population of israel is nine million they're smack in the middle of how many million iran is 80 90 million people right turkey i can't remember what the population of turkey is egypt whoa. 
oh, huge population. Right? There's no way Israel would remain, would exist if they used nukes. It would be the end of Israel, which some say that's exactly what they want. There's some fanatics, which is that's exactly what they want. Right. First time chat on Twitch. Sleepy Alex. Hey, just curious as to why you put a yellow sticker on France. Yellow sticker is in civil war. Yellow stickers in civil war. It keeps on flaring up and dying down, flaring up and dying down. It's a civil war brewing and every now and then it rises up and then comes down again. All right. Uh, there's cities that are very dangerous in France. The yellow vest was a huge movement that was suppressed by uh, because of lockdowns. Uh, with the COVID, right? So France is a civil war. And that's what many of us decided on. I think in the third map, third or fourth uh, mapping global conflict map. I can't remember which one we did it at. First time chat, charitable five, chart, chart, tabla, chart, chart tabla five. What the fuck is this idea of Israel using nukes? Uh, well, one of the ministers just got fired for saying that they should use nukes to wipe out Gazans, Palestinians. Like, there, there are members of the Israeli government that have said that Israel should nuke Palestinians, that Israel should use nukes, like literally saying that we should use nukes. One of the ministers just got fired or suspended for saying we need to nuke Gaza. Right. It's like having it was like the equivalent of having uh, I don't know how how high up the guy was, but let's say uh, equivalent of having what are some of the clowns in the US to come up and say we should nuke Mexico. <laughs> Fuck. What would you do if Lindsey Graham came out and said and Lindsey Graham is one of the ones, that's actually a good analogy. Lindsey Graham is one of the ones that has said that the United States should invade northern Mexico to stop the migrant flow and the drug flow and stuff like this. I believe it's Lindsey Graham. So just imagine if Lindsey Graham came out right now and said, we need to nuke northern Mexico. Um, I would take it pretty seriously because he's pretty high up there, right? I don't know how high up, high up the minister was, uh, but he had a cabinet position, I believe. That came up and said we should nuke Gaza. Nukes on the table. Right? Nukes on the table. I'm scrolling down yeah. Plutonic for Chicho. I think that most Israelis are not suicide. No, I agree with you. Plutonic plurus. 100 percent I agree with you. Most Israelis are not suicidal. When I'm talking about Israel, United States, I'm talking about governments, not the people. Right? Not the people. Please don't get me wrong. All right. However, there are suicidal people in government, just like neocons. Neocons in the United States are insane. They're not suicidal, but they're willing to kill tens of millions of people for their fucking fanaticism, right? No, no, no. I agree. Most Israelis are not suicidal, not by a long shot. And Israel is going to have a very, very hard time uh, getting people to move into the occupied territories again because they're gonna go wait a second you guys can't protect us they just Israel's cleared out towns northern Israel because Hezbollah has been attacking them right so there are towns that are empty now like 10,000 people 5,000 people 20,000 people gone right because it's not safe uh, sleepy sleepy eyes yeah yellow vest were before COVID and they were continuing then, but then COVID really knocked it, right? It wasn't, there, there was an overlap with yellow vest and COVID, but then they got knocked out by the mandates and lockdowns and all that jazz, right? Uh, charitable, let's see, not entirely accurate. Uh, which part charitable? Actually, actually, your statement on this uh, minister's pro properly misinformed. They're all clowns. Uh, no, like literally, here we can. You can go to our gilded server. We linked it up. He was suspended. 
as far as I know, unless, and it happened this morning, so I didn't have a chance to recheck and wait, you know, a day for information to come through, but we found two sources, and I trust the people that are linking up sources in our Gilded server in uh, geopolitics, in the heavy section, and two different people posted links to it, and I found it on my Twitter feed. So I'm assuming that's true, that the minister said we should nuke Gaza, and he was fired or dismissed, right? Plutonic players, yes. Yellow vests are, as far as I know, a movement critical of the establishment, uh, the neglect of non-urban regions and taxes, etc. Yeah, yeah. Le Pen is going to take it this election, I believe. Uh, Eric the eccentric. Oh, I got to bring my sensor to chat back up. Joe Mama, listening to you makes me feel smart. Nice. <laughs> on sensor tube the hawk gilded doesn't work for me is it uh, to do with my country or something else uh, i'm not sure i use it on a website i don't i don't have the app so um elder god knows a fair bit more about how gilded works than i do um we still do have a discord server uh but i'm not active there Aldegot still replies to some people there, uh, but maybe, uh, you know, if you can't access Gilded, um, post a link, maybe someone can help you out or hit up Elder God or, or hit me up. I'll, maybe I'll look into it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, first time chat, November 75. Can you go into Mexico more? Um, I'm not sure. I would like which part of it which part of it mexico mexico is very interesting it's so diverse there's so much going on in mexico and i don't even like i know the bare minimum i'm just like tip of the iceberg for mexico for me as far as i see it because i haven't dug i've dug down regarding you know fast and furious with the guns with um what was it holder whatever the hell his name was during the obama administration sending fucking serious military hardware to the cartels in Mexico under the guise that they were tracking them. What the fuck? All right? There's so much going on. Oh, my pleasure, Hawk. Apologies if I can't help more. Like, I don't use the apps. I go through the web, right? Palestine is pressed. Protesting is a national pastime in France. Boycott says, "Yeah, that's not a compliment." Now, I think it is a compliment. I th I think people should protest. I think people should hold their governments accountable. No doubt, no doubt. Like, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Ah, Elder God says, "I have a yellow vest for heart on Rumble." I think that went over his head. The Santa's bullet. Da, 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 ba, ba, ba. I'm just checking uh, boycott Egypt, uh, KSA, Iran, and United Arab Emirates all in bricks now. Israel won't survive this. Israel, uh, gang, in my opinion, Israel's in deep shit. Um, really, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Uh, mainly because uh, they've treated other human beings with zero respect it's crazy <laughs> elder god says i have french blood it's time for something in baskets we're still live streaming on sensor too so i can't say the word all right oh, i'm gonna talk cha -cha -cha. oh let me read this charitable you say quote israel will have a difficult time convincing people to move back into the occupied territories by this you mean the town surrounding the Gaza Strip, surrounding the Gaza Strip, into the Golan Heights, because people, people, whoever's Israelis that are living in the Golan Heights, they must know this that they're living on occupied territory. What happened surrounding Gaza? That's probably in their minds, right? So, if I was raising a family, I have children in the Golan Heights, I might be thinking of leaving. 
people that are living in northern Israel that are living on occupied uh, Lebanese land, they've been evacuated as well. So that's three zones that Israel has been living in, uh, Israeli settlers have been living in, that they're probably thinking twice about it, many of them anyway. And there's a lot of settlements in the West Bank, right? So all those settlements in the West Bank, I should have loaded up a picture of that. All those people that are living there, they must be worried as well. One of the reasons Israel has been able to take over so much Palestinian land, occupy so much territories, is because they have promised security to those Israelis, to those, not Israelis, to those Jews from around the world if they want to come to Israel and live on those territories, live on those occupied lands, right? That guarantee is gone, shattered, right? So how many people, let's say, in Canada, Jews in Canada, right? Living in Canada will say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go live in a little town, kibbutz. I'm going to have a pool uh, on in the West Bank. Would you do it? I wouldn't do it. I don't know. Little kids? I'm going to go raise a family on occupied territory? In the middle of being surrounded by hundreds of millions of Muslims, where my government is by many around the world committing genocide on Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, who in the world is foolish enough to say, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm going to go get a house with a pool there. You got to be, it's got to be a suicide pack. Like, that's suicidal. I would not do it. Family before all else, right? Charitable, he was suspended, but he did not say literally what you say uh, that he literally said. I, as far as I saw it, I told you, I saw it this morning regarding the Israeli MP nuclear weapons should be used what did he say why don't you quote quote us what he said did he say nukes should be on the table is that what he said what did he actually say right because i was doing loading up videos and stuff i didn't have a chance to dig into it right but but we know members of government that have already said what is it the samson option that's an option for them right Jester on sensor tube. Anyways, I'm uh, gonna. Oop, that heart's in the way. Mimir, you all have a great night. You too. Sweet dreams, Jester. Sweet dreams. Tapastas. Acapulco was attacked by a weather weapon. <laughs> was it? I don't know. Uh, Pluton Pros. Israeli government, intelligence services, and military seem to play through different options, but the extreme ones, extreme ones. I guess are hopefully not becoming a realistic possibility or perceived nece necessity or perceived best among bad options. Plutonic Plurus continues. Well, and, that, and then that says in France, but Plutonic Plurus, Israel coming out and saying their plan, the United States supposedly has offered this to wipe out Egypt's debt if they're okay with all the Palestinians in Gaza Strip to be expelled into Egypt to live in refugee camps. Israel has already said, many members of the Israeli government have, have already said that they want to throw the Palestinians in Gaza into the Sinai. Live in tents, right? That's pretty fucking extreme. Like cleansing the region of 2.2 million people in my book that's fucking extreme i don't know how much more extreme you could go i guess nuclear weapons is the next stage but committing genocide is pretty extreme right plutonic porous ethnically cleansing region is pretty extreme plutonic porous in france protest is a tradition but sadly in current times it often was only quite in different outbursts of social tensions and some groups having a violent uh, violence party yeah. And France has been 
mass migration, ref immigrants coming into Europe, that's going to be seriously problematic. That shit's going to blow at some point, right? The whole, as far as I see it, this whole region is going to go yellow. That's the way I see it. France is just the beginning in my book. Alfredo, I, I know they are in trouble, but at the moment, I just can't get my mind around it. No one is going, doing anything, and they have just free play. Yeah, and the more brutal they are, the more problematic it will be for them. Really. It's going to be seriously problematic gang i'm scrolling down uh, just for me to catch up with the chat uh, i'm going to read uh, charitable and in your opinion all three zones are occupied territories golan heights is occupied territory for sure that's international law says it's occupied territory northern israel southern lebanon that's lebanese land that's occupied territory of course it is that's occupied territory the territory surrounding uh, gaza those are occupied territories. All of those three things, the United Nations, the global body, right, states that it's occupied territories. Like, it's not me saying it. It's the UN saying it. It's occupied territories. Like, I, I'm a nobody. I don't, I don't have control over those. But as Norman Finkelstein says, like, the only thing we can do is really go to what the global consensus is and the global consensus is it's occupied territories like what else is there to say I, I personally I don't give a shit what a fanatic in Israeli government has to say that that's God-given land they are you know they are the chosen people and they must occupy all of the Levant and bring back greater Israel and shit that's religious fanatic talking that way right like, why would i give a rat's ass of what religious fanatics want because they're fanatics the consensus the global consensus is israel is occupying lands from three different nations from three different countries palestinians syrians and lebanese well what would you say to someone that does that like get the fuck off our land right would you not say that right reagan against machine do, 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 do. through trying to start war yeah they're trying to start world war three on sensor two 100 agreed 100 agreed keithy branson tim leary and nietzsche are the only people in history who said uh the bible is the problem um is it the bible I mean the Bible is a Christian thing you got the Torah you got the Quran holy text maybe 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 they really meant holy text are the problem da, 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 da. okay I'm scrolling down gang I'm going all the way down Cheryl how are you doing <laughs> hope you're doing well I'm all the way down to the bottom on twitch gang um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, Eric the eclectic Judaism is a mindset, not a country. Israel is a place, not a country. My two cents. And Zionism, Zionism is, a pol uh, is a political movement, not a religion, not a country. Right? Charitable. The territory surrounding Gaza Strip, on what basis do you claim this is occupied? I'm not claiming it. The United Nations is claiming it. The UN does not claim that this is occupied territory the cell it is the un claims that the territory surrounding gaza strip is not occupied territory as far as i know i'm going with norman finkelstein and some other people that have followed those areas there's huge oh man i should have brought up map of uh the official on the next stream i'll have it right look at the map of because on the get here let me bring up this map um where is it do we have a close-up which one was a close-up the basin no not that one uh, no not that one nope mm, this one no this one yeah, yeah 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 take a look do you see the gaza strip there 
If you go further down on the Israeli side, if you want to call it, not the Egypt, but the other side, there was a huge chunk of Palestinian land there that was Palestinian. If you look at the older maps, right? That no longer exists. That's been taken over by Israel. 1967 lines. Area surrounding Gaza Strip is Israeli side of 1967 lines. We see. We see. We should look into it. We'll look, I'll, I'll look into it more. I'll look into it more. But after 1948, right? 1948, right? A lot of Palestinian land has been taken over by Israel. Okay. What was agreed upon, right? Remember, European powers took Palestine, right? Divided it up, gave the majority of the land to form Israel. I forget what the percent split was. Was two thirds for Israel and a third for Palestinians? Like, and then there was a great Nakba and genocide there, mass ethnic cleansing there. Look into it. Look into it. Elder God, from 1517 to 1917, uh, what is today Israel, along with much of the Middle East, was ruled by the Ottoman Empire, but World War. Uh, one dramatically altered the geopolitical landscape in the Middle East. In 1917, at the height of the war, British Foreign Secretary Arthur James Balfour submitted a letter of intent supporting the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine. The British government hoped that the formal declaration known thereafter as the Balfour Declaration would encourage support for the Allies in World War I. Okay. Thank you, Elder God. Creating over years incrementally. Yeah, let's read this. Da, 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 da. Reagan against machines. They have been incrementally taken over year after year. 100%. Matty V, really appreciate the YouTube stream, even if they're uh, not the whole thing. Oh, my pleasure, Matty G. It, it, thank, we need to thank Elder God for that. He's the one that convinced me to start streaming on sensor 2 and it had to be done it had to be done really it had to be done uh, just just to talk about the censorship right Putak Purus, after the romans there was no palestine in this sense it was arab tribes jews etc living there after the rejection of the 1947 un plan by the arab tribes the palestinian identi identity was formed but we now now have to deal with this construct we cannot go back to the 1947 to to do it better uh, agreed there has to be a place where people compromise right but we must also agree that israel was a construct as well right so there was two constructs that happened there has to be uh, a compromise made between the two and anyone that comes along and says we are the chosen people this god gave us this land can go fuck themselves as far as i'm concerned right because that's crazy right that's crazy it da chia chia peace and love chicho uh any energy snacks today energy snacks like a walnuts and apples I only have one apple and one walnut so far, but I've been munching on them uh, in the morning for the morning. They're good. I love walnuts. Walnuts and almonds. I love walnuts and almonds and cashews and cashews. Right? Charitable. As to your question. Oh, nice. As to your question. Thank you very much, Charitable, for bringing this up. As to your question about the Israeli minister, in the interviewer brought up a kind of nuclear weapon. And the minister agreed under some conditions. I appreciate that it's a nuance that you'll dismiss, in my humble opinion, but it's a relevant nuance. I agree with you. It is a relevant nuance. But once a person says a kind of nuclear weapon, it means they're open to using nuclear weapons. That's a nuclear talk. That's insane. Just imagine. Just like, I don't care which side of the road you're in. Like, which side you want to take, you're neutral or whatever, right? Anybody thinks, anybody that thinks using a nuclear weapon in any conflict, let alone this one, 
is a good idea needs to have all power removed from them right that's the way i see it anybody that states that we should collectively commit suicide should have all power removed from them okay the bipolar bear greetings greetings charitable uh, plutonic that's not accurate we have document documents of the start of palace palestinian demands for say in the governance in 1918 yeah yeah palestine there are papers from the uk that were referring to this region as palestine before 1947 so uh, charitable is correct charitable is correct plutonic or charitable may be true um, but it was still arabs living in this region under the ottomans and then under the british and plutonic jews were living there as well right shitload of jews were living there what happened after 1940 47 48 where when uh, the government of Israel that was established there started kicking Palestinians out of their land, emptying town, ethnic cleansing the region. Like literally, it was ethnic cleansing, right? Genocide, right? When Israel, the established Israel, started cleansing the region of Palestinians, Arabs, Muslims, nomads, whatever you want to call them, right? You had Jews that were living peacefully in many of the Arab countries that went, you know what? time to go to Israel so we had sort of the same thing happen here as happened with Pakistan and India right the British drew lines borders and they knew there was going to be conflict there was knew there was going to be uh, mass migration there was they knew there was going to be atrocities committed and you saw mass migration migrations of different ethnic people religions from one side to the other because the fuckers up there did it right you had the same thing happen in pakistan and india create conflict draw lines away in a way where you're guaranteed conflict right all wars are bankers wars right eric chicho if I go and just move into a piece of land and claim God gave it to me, I could be arrested and treated as a lunatic. How how the uh, Israeli state any different? No, I think they're lunatics, the ones that say God gave it to us. I think they're lunatics. All right. Oh God, imagine the Welsh attacking the English and demanding their land back. Then the Celts turn up saying it was their land 4,000 years earlier. Yeah. Tonic Polaris. History is a mess. History is a mess. And many people would state that we really don't even know the history of humanity more than a hundred years or two hundred years, right? We really there was a lot of documentation that has been wiped, right? Plutrino salutations. Have you spoke about Cyprus? in older mapping videos ah we mentioned a little bit but yeah turkey cyprus right turkey just moved in and said mine half ours this occupied territory really all right but that one it's going to be hard getting turkey to move out that being said that being said turkey's in deep shit turkey's in deep shit my guess is when this dust settles, Turkey is not going to maintain this integrity. I think there's going to be boundaries re redrawn. I think there's going to be boundaries redrawn. Charitable, quote, we have documents referring to the area as Palestine. That's a very gross mischaracterization, uh, I'm saying. There, there are letters, there are... there. It's not official government documents, but they're MPs, I guess, or people high up referring to the area as Palestine. Pretty sure about that. Okay, so two questions. Nigeria's war with Niger. How's it going? Well, it didn't happen. All right. Nigeria and a couple of the other countries threatened Niger because, well, 
They're puppets of the Western world. Niger said, fuck you. You guys want to start a war? Let's go, right? And then what happened? Niger increased the prices of uranium for France. They said, hey, you can't, ex you know, just take what you want now. We need to look out for our own people. You can't have our resources for nothing. And the pipeline that was planned to be built from here going all the way up um, was it going through Niger Algeria. I think it was going through Algeria. Algeria was it through going through Algeria? What was our map looking like? I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. We drew. The, I had the map before. Do I have the map still? Let's see. Um, Niger. Here we go. Let me bring up this map. Here, check this out. Let me put it here. Um, here's the map. Uh, doink. Hey, doink. See that? So that gas or gas energy pipeline that was supposed to be built coming up here, going like this, right? Okay, it's not gonna stick because we took it off and okay, it's gonna stick a little bit, right? So that pipeline, as far as I know, it's not happening, right? That pipeline is not happening, okay? Boycott on rumble. The U.S. government has made made the Israelis a victim of mass psychosis intentionally. Read the origins and MK Ultra. The live research labs is a reality for Israelis that has made a victim of the entire nation. Yeah, I think Israelis uh, have gotten a raw deal, right? Because they were convinced to buy into bullshit right they were convinced to buy into bullshit to be used as cannon fodder in a greater war uh unfortunately atrocities are being committed but we'll see where it all goes we'll see where it all goes uh sensor tube there's some chat on sensor tube let me see um uh, the hawk off topic but are you go doing a liquor stream soon uh liquor stream uh, we did some over the summer i do need we did a liqueur a huge liqueur cleaning during the summer a couple of months ago i guess but no liquor stream coming up soon because fruit season is done and uh, what i'm we're gonna do is just sort of bunker down and just sip liqueurs and uh enjoy some drinks uh, maybe i'll start uh streaming just sitting back and drinking liqueurs uh why not uh, charitable second question what's going on with pakistan and uh, afghans pakistan is uh saying because what's happening right now is what what's going on with israel and palestine is fucking huge it's a holy war one of the reasons it's happening is because israel has stated that they're gonna try to demolish the alaska mosque and build the temple mount right if they do that you're going to see Muslims from around the world go there. Like, I have the only way Israel will be able to survive this if, is if they, they use, they have like 300 nukes. They use all their nukes and just make this whole area radioactive wasteland. But when they do that, you're going to see missiles flying all over the place, hundreds of thousands of missiles dropping on Israel, and the whole place just goes fucking boom right so this is what israel is doing right now is a religious war well what do we know about afghanistan again pretty hardcore extremists right so pakistan preemptively because they see what we see right or what we're talking about pakistan preemptively is saying okay all those afghan refugees that are in Pakistan right now we don't know who's Taliban we don't know who's Al-Qaeda we don't know who's who right and Al-Qaeda and ISIS different one extreme one it's all different factions right but Pakistan saying okay you guys get the fuck out because they see this whole this whole thing exploding they see it and they probably have way more information than we do we see it exploding what Pakistan Pakistan's doing is confirming what we think is about to happen right so every every little thing is happening is a little bit uh one more piece of the puzzle that we're able to put together and think about things right think about things 
C Graves 19 greetings from northern Manitoba greetings C Graves Chicho love your videos brother love love Manitobans <laughs> gang British Columbia Alberta Saskatchewan Manitoba okay Winnipeg you got some of the biggest effing mosquitoes in Winnipeg you want to go you know if you, if you if you have a baby toddler don't go don't go walking around in August <laughs> with your baby keep your eye on them because mosquitoes might come and grab them and take them away <laughs> just kidding of course just kidding of course plutonic florist alberta you must be getting cold in the prairies Plutonic floors on Rumble. I shared the estimation that Israel is partly used as a lab for surveillance technology and as COVID injection laboratory, but not sure about whether the mass psychosis is large than in the collective West or I, I think it's more. I think it's more. It's very much along the same lines as Turkey. So I look at Israel and Turkey in the same light in terms of education and stuff like this. In Turkey, like for example, Israel doesn't accept that there was an Armenian genocide in World War One. United States accepted, France accepted, Russia has accepted. Majority of the world says, hey, Turks committed genocide on the Armenians. Israel doesn't recognize it, neither does Turkey, right? And if you talk to Turks who have been only educated through the Turkish education system, they don't know that there was an Armenian genocide, right? Okay, that's exactly the way it is with Israel. They don't know the true history of the region. Okay, so I think they're very much along the same lines. They're very much along the same lines. It's very much controlled. Boycott on Rumble. Afghanistan was uh, a, live, a live lab for biometric, uh, biometric research technology advancements. The USA is evil. I had nothing to do with the boogeyman lies. It's all about fascist authoritarianism and control seagraves laughing regarding alfred and manitoba don't visit don't visit northern manitoba if you want to see mosquitoes <laughs> this is very cold very cold very cold very cold very cold Not really. I'm so, Elder God, I'm so depressed now. We might all be glowing in the dark before Christmas. I hope not. I don't think it's going to happen before Christmas. By 2027? Uh, 2025? Dub XYZ. Just moved to Alberta from BC. We thought about it. If we did, because of the mandates and lockdowns and draconian bureaucrats uh, we've talked about it me and my partner but we have elderly family members here so we're not going to go yet right we see we see we see we see Alfida, this map is getting quite full should we go over to jupiter <laughs> well, cheryl did the u.s make it official uh official about what cheryl what are we talking about she seems so serious you impact that movement mm, i missed the conversation there Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, dun. Uh, Plutino, I heard that in Turkey they say it's the opposite that Armenians genocide of Turks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what they teach them. Just imagine if in Germany they were teaching right now, in Germany they were teaching that it was the Jews that was genociding Germans. What the fuck? <laughs> Wrap your head around that. That's how distorted reality is for those that have only been educated in Turkey right they believe that Armenians genocided Turks equivalent to to Germans the Germans believing that Jews genocided Germans right yeah oh regarding Cheryl uh, recognizes the Armenian genocide uh, yeah I believe the US has officially recognized it yeah, it happened uh, either last year or the year before. And I believe that might have been one of the things they needed to do for the puppets in Armenia that they installed for them to try to distance themselves from Russia. Part of the deal for them to give up Nagorno-Karabakh so they could, idiots, 
they could join NATO and EU, which they're never going to, right? There was a whole fucking deal made there. I think it was official, Cheryl, but correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, Eric Chicho, why is Netanyahu not ceasing the attack? They had the uh, blink in there today. He's not ceasing the attack because if he ceases the attack, he will be removed from power. He's going to remove. He needs permanent war there right now. So he doesn't get removed from power because if he gets removed from power, he's probably going to be arrested within like days and put in jail because he's a criminal. Like there are, there are factions in Israel that want to put Netanyahu in jail. The only reason he's not in jail is because he he formed the government. That's it. Right. Availability, the Azerbaijani soldiers straight up firing squads, prisoners of war during the last big uh, fight about a year ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Azerbaijan, like, look, yeah, Azerbaijan, Turkey, they consider Armenians to be animals, right? And as far as they're concerned, they want to exterminate all Armenians from that region. That's their philosophy. That's what they teach in their school, especially in Azerbaijan, okay? That's what they do, unfortunately, unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, it's sad. It's fucking sad. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Dub X, Y, Z, because it just filled with all the woke BS and housing market is fucked here. I can buy a nice house for half the price of one in Vancouver uh in my humble opinion and don't have to deal with as much work yeah i agree with uh, dub that's exactly the reason why we were talking about moving to alberta from bc right my partner can't work in bc uh in the hospital as a nurse because we know why right but in alberta she can right uh bc has turned i love bc it's beautiful nature and stuff like this but the the brainwashed low IQ mofos here disgusting really cheryl holy cow i totally missed it so cheryl confirmed united states recognized the armenian genocide right and i believe it was in uh oh, i can't remember when it was uh no, not yet, Elder God. We're not going to move. We have elderly here. We need to take care of family. Uh, I believe it was maybe 2019, maybe as late as that. Pork cooked, redeem 1,000 points. Thank you very much for redeeming points. But, gang, if you're on Twitch, remember, in two to three weeks, we're going to do our Twitch auction so you can bid with your Twitch points for stuff that we're going to auction off. Okay? So save your Twitch points. Save your Twitch points. Save your twitch points. Taiba Baz on Sensor 2. What do you think about the Hamas Hamas and how generally the news are targeting citizens from across that that are Muslims and Arabs saying they are promoting jihad and terrorism? Um Baz, we talked about this. Um, how long have we been doing this? We're almost uh, into two hours. Uh, we talked about this already um it's there's a lot of propaganda happening in the western world people are they're using the western world media is uh, playing with words there there's a war on multiple fronts propaganda censorship and all that jazz but they're also confusing those who, have, who don't know anything about this region and they're trying to uh convince people that anyone that supports palestinians also supports hamas which is not true right so all the protests that they're showing they're saying all oh, these people protesting they're all hamas supporters which is not true they support palestine right they want ceasefire some of them are even saying anyone that wants ceasefire is a hamas <laughs> support supporting hamas which is low iq some of the lowest iq fucking shit you ever heard right uh so there's propaganda war happening uh all kinds of stuff right Billy on Sensor 2, where do you think the Palestinian refugees will go after Israel pushes them out of Gaza? Uh, Israel will not be able to push them out of Gaza. The only way Palestinians will leave Gaza is if Israel kills them all. And if Israel kills them all, you can pretty much guarantee that Israel will no longer be 
it'll be mass suicide. It's, it's a suicide pact. Basically, what the Israeli government is trying to convince people to do is to join their suicide pact. If I was Israeli, I'd be fucking pissed. I'd be fucking pissed. Bass, I just joined 10 minutes ago, finding it interesting. Awesome, Bass. Yeah, we've talked. To, this is, by the way, this is part nine of this map we've been talking about. So we've done nine previous streams with this map where we've built it up. And on SensorTube, we have a playlist of all the streams. Two of the streams we didn't load on entirely on SensorTube because of censorship, but they're available on Rum, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Okay. Um, so we've talked a fair bit about this for sure, for sure. Eric Chicho, what's uh, what happens if Netanyahu gets removed? My understanding is that the U.S. Uh, brought a democracy to the east of Israel, uh, to the state of Israel, uh, will bring democracy. I, I don't know. There are a lot of fanatics in the Israeli government so i'm not sure like a lot of people talk about russia right they say oh putin should be removed putin is a moderate right he's pretty peaceful don't let western propaganda convince you otherwise if putin was removed extreme hard lines are going to come to power in russia and you're going to fucking they're going to go ballistic on europe's ass right felix the cat salutations how are you doing on sensor two uh, Matthew Derbyshire and SensorTube. I feel so dumb right now. I've not been following this at all. Is the is there anywhere I can go uh, go to to get good and reliable info about the situation? Uh, I would say start watching. There's two people you should watch. You should watch the Duran, the Duran. You should watch Scott Ritter. Okay. Because they bring guests on and they talk and they do question and answer period and stuff like this. They're good. Okay. You should read Gideon Levy. Uh, he's a journalist uh, in Israel. You should read Alistair Cook. Um, he's in the UK, uh, diplomat and journalist. Uh, you should, if you want to learn about the history of this area, Norman Finkelstein. No one is better. No one is better. Norman Finkelstein know the history of this he's on substack just follow his work there okay uh, those are five that i can give you like right off the bat five of the top ones five of the top ones okay i'm scrolling down again so elegant putin is dead apparently again <laughs> hayes one two three on uh, twitch yeah. yeah norman norman is amazing norman is amazing and it takes time matthew this is very complicated everything that's going on it takes time it take and don't try to learn everything in one shot you you won't be able to just just go with it right learn a little every day reagan against machine he just wrote a book finkelstein did he just release a book yeah, he's written multiple books Billy, thanks for the math videos you used to make. Used to watch them back in the day in high school. It opened my eyes to the beauty of math. Now I'm getting a PhD in physics. Yes. <laughs> salute, salute. Awesome. That makes me happy, man. And good on you for seeing the beauty of mathematics. Right? Good on you for seeing the beauty of mathematics. And we will get back to doing math. For sure. We will. I promise I promise okay classic corner hey Chicho greetings appreciate the information you provide uh, my pleasure my uh, on here my pleasure my pleasure thank you for being here classic corner okay uh, sleepy axe could you explain what you know about Kurdistan and Rojava I don't know anything about Rojava the names doesn't it doesn't ring a bell but Kurdistan oof. Kurdistan, Kurdistan. Um, just quickly, one thing I'll mention about Kurdistan. Kurds have some of the worst leadership for any, any peoples. Kurdish leaders are selfish. They don't do the calculus. 
They don't understand what the fuck is going on. And they've made some horrendous mistakes in history, right? They allied themselves with people that backstabbed them and threw them to the wolves. Okay. So Kurds have to really rethink uh, their, their leadership and uh, who they're allying with. For example, in Syria, Assad offered them so much, so much more than what they had. They turned it down and they allied themselves with Israel and the United States. What a fucking mistake. Okay. Almost on the same level as the Kurds during World War I when they allied themselves with Turkey and they, they helped Turkey commit genocide on the Armenians. Once Turkey with the help of the Kurds, was done killing Armenians, Turkey turned on the Kurds and started killing Kurds and didn't give them the lands that they promised them. Okay, so Kurds have had some of the worst, worst leadership in history. Um, that's the quick gist of it. That's the quick gist of it. Hayes. There are artificial state, blah, 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 blah. first time chat on Twitch. Bengurin. Why is US orange and red? Because US is involved in multiple wars directly and supporting multiple wars directly. US is a war. 100% the United States is at war. That must be obvious for most people. Cruiser music. Mozambique is pretty safe currently, by the way. Greetings from Pemba. Awesome, Mozambique. Man, I wish I had some kind of base in Africa, tell you the truth, but I don't. I don't. Gang. Uh, boycott, the Duran. No. Suggest uh, dialogue works. Geopolitical trends and Smoothie X12 are good too on YouTube. Yeah, see, the thing is, I... I, I I watch the Duran on Rumble or Bitchute, mainly Bitchute. Uh, I, in general, I don't watch too much politics, except I, I was following a Doug, Douglas McGregor uh, channel that was bringing all the highlights from Douglas McGregor, and that got killed on CensorTube. So I try to not to watch too much stuff on CensorTube because they're killing channels left and right. Uh, Richard Methurst is good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Richard Methurst is pretty good. Uh, good too, but leans towards anti-semitism a bit too much my a child of a un diplomat with a multicultural upbringing yeah i don't watch uh, richard mentors too much but i watch little segments here and there he did a good piece recently he's been covering some good stuff recently okay that hit my radar felix on sensor tube how did the u.s become what it's become in comparison to every other country in the world um phew, uh, the core of the United States was people escaping tyranny from Europe to the new land, right? When they got there, they established after a while, they decided to do break away from the monarchies and stuff like this and form the Republic, right? From there on and before that, the way it was established is they committed genocide on the indigenous population in the Americas and took over the land. That's a quick version. There's a lot more to it. Plutonic plurals. A proper peace deal in, in the Israel-Palestine case would have to entail real security guarantee structures for Israel, 100%, and a proper state for the Palestinians, 100%, where they, they had to claim political uh, agency and have to engage in proper diplomacy, 100%, 100%, 100%. Eric, I am so glad I landed here, Chicho. I used to listen to History Channel, but she started getting quite uh, chauvinistic and um, criticizing folks who <laughs> would not agree with her. Well, too bad for her. And thank you for coming here. I'm glad you landed here as well. Salute, salute. Gang, should we call the stream? Let's call the stream. We've been going for almost two hours. Uh, really wanted to cover this area. I'm hoping we don't have to do this because we did one like three weeks ago or something like this and the shit's hitting the fan more and more. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to come here too much, but 
we're going to come here. All right. Felix to get so genocide, so genocide. Yeah, yeah. Rippers TV. Dang, I just got here. Oh no, Rippers. Oh no, Rippers. Boycott your 60 on Rumble. Salute, salute, salute. First time chat, Anthony Boner. I'm my neighborhood. There, in my neighborhood, there are great big conflict. Why nuclear bombs too? Da, da, da. Charitable. Uh, regarding American power, regarding American power, if you want to go into what made the U.S. into the powerhouse it is today, World War II, I would say, for reading out, should perhaps also mention the profiteering for World War One and World War Two, indeed, and the flow up in the establish uh, establishing of petrodollar. Yeah. So basically, what uh, Charitable is mentioning is this: World War One and World War Two saw a huge amount of wealth go from Europe to the United States. A lot of the gold reserves in this area also moved over here, right? And at the time, basically, the United States established a gold-backed currency, the US dollar, right? Because they had a fucking shit ton of gold. In 19, so that made the United States a powerhouse. They weren't in danger of being attacked. And if you're a wealthy person, if you wanna keep your money safe, you're not gonna keep it in the war zone. You're gonna move it over to where there's no danger of tanks running through the streets and your bank being eliminated and your money going away or your collectibles, art, wealth, gold, anything. Right. So all of that stuff moved over here. United States had a gold backed currency, but they went on to a fucking spending spree like mad. In the 1970s, France came along and said, hey, we want our gold back. They actually brought ships to New York and said, we want our gold back. Nixon said, the US dollar is no longer backed by gold. Oops. Well, you need to have something aside from military wealth to give the US dollar value. So the United States went to Saudi Arabia, cut a deal with the Saudis and said, hey, from now on, you only sell oil in US dollars and we're, we'll mail it militarily back you. That means you will remain in power forever and ever and ever and ever, right? And after the OPEC oil crisis in the 1970s, U.S. is back, top dog again. That top dog position is disappearing because Saudi is in the bricks. Saudi is making peace with Iran or they're not going into full-blown conflict with Iran, right? Israel, by its move right now, saying that they want to demolish the Alaska Mosque, just brought all the Muslims together, Sunni and Shia together, saying, what the fuck did you just say? You want to eliminate, you want to destroy the third holiest site for Muslims? So there's a lot going on there. A lot going on, right? A lot going on. Uh, direct war is the US. What direct war is the US in? Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're kidding, right? here no you don't consider like here if the united states then fund ukraine would ukraine and russia be at war or nato and russia be at war israel how many battleships does the united states have there united states has bombed united states just through two weeks ago bought last week i think bombed syria jazut jaz Jazazut, Jazazut on Rumble, five dollars of chat. Thank you very much. Sorry for the messed up Rumble username. Ha -ha. Jesus is fine. Is that what the name is? What? Jesus is fine. How do you read that? Jesus is fine. What are your thoughts on the U.S. military draft being reinstated? Been hearing recent news about it. Thanks. I don't think it'll be reinstated, but but check this out. I think one of the reasons the United States has been opening up the floodgates and letting a mass like millions of people walk into the United States is because in the early mid 2000s, the Bush Jr. regime passed a law saying that, OK, anybody that wanted to migrate to the United States, if they were willing to serve in the U.S. military for a designated amount of time, they would get fast track residency and then they could get into get citizenship. So I think one of the reasons they've been flooding the U.S. aside from voting and all this shit, you know, 
breaking up the United States, uh, red versus blue and all this jazz, is to have cannon fodder and say, you, you're an illegal here, join the military, right? For let's say five years, four years, three years, two years, whatever, we'll give you landed status and you're an American citizen within five years, maybe, right? But I don't think they're gonna bring the draft in. It, the draft in the United States would not work. I think people would rise up so fast, uh, the people in the White House, their heads would spin. Would you, would you, would you, right? Sterling on sensor tube. Salute, salute, salute. Salute, salute, salute. Good question, by the way. Possibly reinstate it. Yeah, I don't think they're going to reinstate it. Yeah. Yeah. Gang, I'm going to give you guys a count. What do we got? What do we got? We got 22 people on sensor tube. We got 61 people on Twitch, and we got 35 people on Rumble. So all together, we're over 100 something, 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 something. Salutations, gang! Welcome to our live streams, and we live stream the whole thing on sensor tube. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Salute, gang! <coughs> Salute, gang! U.S. is in every war. U.S. is the god of war, <laughs> on, Eric says on Twitch. And gang, do not forget, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, something that we desperately need in our societies. Do not forget, do not forget Julian Assange's word that if wars can be started with lies peace can be started with truth right for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available on free speech platforms gang let's call the stream thank you very much for being here thank you very much for being here thank you for the conversation uh charitable thank you for the discussion really i appreciate it if i'm wrong on anything please let me know okay i'm join our guild server right i can only consume so much information gang and uh charitable is mentioning this u.s wars today number one proxy war in ukraine number two carrier group mediterranean uh number three trilateral agreement japan plus oz versus china indeed number four africa all over the fucking africa all over africa right thank you charitable appreciate it gang we're on patreon substack subscribe star uh you can definitely work follow the work there for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon substack on twitch on rumble on sensor tube on bitchute on odyssey and all these platforms gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and i appreciate it a lot uh, it's a lot of work. I can honestly tell you, it's a lot of work. Uh, and I do my best, but I can't catch everything. So thank you, thank you for the discussions that we're having on Gilded, sharing information, uh, because I'm coming across information that I wouldn't have been able to find myself because everybody has different uh, sources uh, that they're sharing, right? Which is fantastic. Gang, for a lot of streams, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platforms we're on twitter we're on minds we're on getter we're on gab we're on vk we're on substack notes uh you can definitely follow the work there gang salute to the mods for having our backs being here keeping it real i hope you guys have a fantastic um sunday or monday morning Remember, tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m., my time, PST, West Coast, Canada, United States, West Coast, Canada, United States, we're doing part four of our book reading. We've got some books that are pulled out. I'm going to read probably excerpts from three books. So if you're into books, join us. We're going to do some readings tomorrow morning. Salut, gang. I hope you guys have a fantastic next few hours. Bye for now.